brilliant color to them. What a jewel the sun was. What marvel the sky. How incredibly alive the trees were. And to love again and again to have people to whom we are deeply attached. Go to sleep and never wake up. Never wake up. Laughter and the laughter and the laughter echoes only, echoes only, echoes only in one's mind, 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 in one's mind. And then the echo goes. The memory, the traces are all gone. Traces are all gone. Of all your efforts, all your efforts, and all your achievements, all your attainments, turning into dust, nothing else. What is the feeling? What happens to you? The idea of God as the potter, the architect of the universe, it makes you feel that life is after all important. There is someone who cares. It has meaning, it has sense, and you are valuable in the eyes of the Father. But after a while, it got embarrassing, the superstition of why has anybody been understood. So you become an atheist. Then you feel terrible after that because you got rid of God, but that means you got rid of yourself. You're just nothing but a machine. And your idea that you're a machine is just a machine too. So if you think that that's the way things are, you feel hostile to the world. You feel that the world is a neurological trap into which you somehow got caught, trapped, trapped, trapped. You run from the maternity ward to the crematorium, and that's it. That's it. And so if you're a smart kid, you commit suicide. Now, I want to propose another idea altogether. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around.